What's up everyone, let's talk about the benefits of using creatine. I'm gonna give you seven creatine benefits. I'm also gonna cover the medical point of view of why you should consider using creatine if you aren't already doing so. Let's get into it. First, let's squash the myths about creatine and I've heard a lot of these as well. They've gotten a little played out to me personally. If you don't know about creatine, if you don't know about supplements, don't go around spreading myths and rumors because it's not going to help anyone. Well, the first rumor myth Creatine is not a steroid. Lots of people think it is. Whenever I bring it up to someone that's not familiar with exercise or nootropics and brain function, they think creatine is some sort of steroid. It is not. The second myth, creatine is not natural. Creatine is produced in the human body from amino acids glycine and arginine. It is naturally produced in the liver and then stored in the muscles and in the brain. So it is absolutely natural. It is not a steroid. Most stored muscular creatine comes from food sources, in large part red meats, and in other foods as well, but for the most part you want to stick to red meats if you're looking to source your creatine entirely from food. That's where the amino acids are at. The third myth, creatine is only for bodybuilders. The fourth myth, finally, creatine makes you look like a bodybuilder. Number three and four, absolutely not true. It is not just for bodybuilders. We're going to get into some of the medical benefits of creatine in a second. And also it's not going to make you look like a bodybuilder. It's going to help with your muscle development, your muscle mass, but it is not primarily suited for bodybuilders. It is for absolutely anyone. Personally, I like to cycle through different types of creatine, but for the most part, I like to use Creapure creatine and creatine monohydrate. Actually, one I've been using just recently over the past month or so is from Purity Products and it's called Everstrong. This one's really neat because it actually includes vitamin D as well, which is something that you absolutely need to supplement. I've talked about it in previous videos and on lifehack.org articles. Vitamin D is something I take on a daily basis anyways, so the fact that they've included it within their creatine supplement is very clever in my opinion. Let's get into some of the reasons why you should consider using creatine. Creatine supplements increases your muscles phosphocreatine stores. Phosphocreatine helps with the formation of new ATP. ATP is the key molecule used in your cells for energy. And during exercise, ATP is broken down to produce energy. Creatine allows you to produce more muscle mass and it also speeds muscle growth and development as well as muscle recovery. Because of creatine's direct role in ATP production, it improves high intensity interval exercise and I'm a huge proponent of high intensity interval training. I've talked about it many times on Lifehack and on YouTube here. One of the reasons why I like high intensity interval training is because it improves your VO2 max, your cardio, and it actually helps with your all cause mortality. That means that you can actually lengthen your lifespan by increasing the amount of intensity in your exercise. Many people aren't aware of this, but creatine is actually a nootropic and it really helps quite a bit with brain function, brain cell repair, and it can help mitigate some diseases such as Parkinson's. It does this because Parkinson's disease is characterized by a reduction of the key neurotransmitter known as dopamine, which is produced in your brain. And creatine can actually assist with the production of this. Number five somewhat ties in with the other brain benefits because creatine can actually help fight other neurological diseases. This is because a key factor in the development of many neurological diseases is the reduction of phosphocreatine in the brain. And because you're taking creatine, you're not gonna experience that reduction. So you're gonna maintain optimal levels and thus reduce your risk of neurological brain diseases. Number six, creatine may actually lower blood sugar levels and help fight against diabetes. This is because research suggests that creatine can actually reduce blood sugar levels and increase the function of GLUT4. GLUT4 is basically a transmitter molecule that brings sugar into your muscles. And if you're interested in learning more about GLUT4 or anything I'm talking about here, there are some links in the description below that are gonna elaborate more on some of these beneficial properties of the use of creatine. Number seven, creatine may actually help reduce fatigue and fight against tiredness. And this is because it helps maintain dopamine levels in the brain and because of the levels of ATP production that creatine assists with. I'm sure I've given you more than enough reasons to try creatine if you haven't already done so or if you've been considering it for some time but you just haven't pulled the trigger. You've got a lot of benefits here from neurological brain function and reducing the risk of neurological disease to improving your muscle growth and development to increased energy levels. So creatine is one of those supplements that as the years go on, much more research is coming to fruition and it's really proving that creatine is a staple in your supplement stack. And if you haven't used it, again, you should consider doing so. I like to use Creapure based creatine because it tends to be a little bit more refined, not diluted in any way. And I like to use it from reputable brands such as Purity Products and Everstrong, as I had mentioned earlier in this video. If you're interested in checking this out, the link is in the description below. Again, this includes vitamin D3, which is huge for me. It also has some other great ingredients such as coffee berry, which I didn't really want to discuss much in this video, but I did include some links in the description below if you're interested in checking that out. Otherwise, if you have any questions, you can reach out 
to EverStrong's staff team. I'm sure they're more than happy to address all the questions you may have, or you can just visit their website and they have more information there as well for you. But thank you for watching this video as always. If you found it informative, please add it to your favorites, hit it with a like, share it with a friend, and otherwise I'll catch you again in that next one. Take care.